Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a very simple feature in uh, ECBI to make your life uh, a lot, a lot, lot easier. Now, let us say you have working. Let us say you have built a report, and the report is wonderful. But uh, uh, when you build a report using ECBI, you have of course these dimensions that you want to use, either in the rows or in the columns, and at the same time, you also have this uh, option here called pages. Now, this pages is basically used when uh, you want to uh, make the report uh, filterable. I guess that is the right word, right? So, let us say you're looking at a pie chart. Now, you want this pie chart to show maybe by default information from all the projects or maybe for, for, for a specific project. So, that is great. But sometimes the dimensions that are there... Uh, in your rows or columns also need to be uh, used as a filter. So let me show you. So let us say you're trying to build a report and uh, what shall we do today? Uh, so let us find out the uh, statuses that we have in Jira and uh, number of issues. So we have uh, 692. I'll expand it. I will uh, get rid of the all status. So we have this wonderful report, right? Great. And of course, you can uh, create a pie chart. Perfect, right? This is, this is wonderful. Now, you can definitely bring one more dimension to your pages and your your uh, project will be now listed on top. So you can filter the report based on that particular uh, project. You may want to hide empty rows and columns so you have like a better uh, looking report. It could be a pie chart or maybe whatever chart that you're working on. So if you go back to all projects and uh, if you look at this particular report, this is great. Now, what if you have, let us say, one more uh, dimension, let us say issue type, which you may want to drag, and maybe you want to expand it further. So you have all the issues or, or, or all the issue types. Get rid of the all issue type column, um, remove. So this is great, right? And I may want to, I think, yeah, nothing is, uh, so we, we do have like a hidden, uh, we definitely have like a, empty rows hidden. This is great. What if you want to display this or display this information or any report based on uh, whatever you have done? Great. But what if you want to further filter it based on a, on a status? So maybe you just want to see the open status or maybe in progress or so on or something maybe for a uh, uh, bug, right? So what you can do is let us say you want the same report, but you all, you just want to focus on the bug. Uh, so you want to create a filter, but the issue type is not really there on top, right? Because you have already used it. Great thing about ECBI is that there is a feature called pages here. So basically it, it will give you, if you click on this button or a toggle, it will then uh, make this dimension also appear as a uh, as a common filter or, or filter here on the top, uh, which is of course something that you're using as a dimension in column and also I mean you are using using this dimension as a column uh, one of the column and also one of the filter now you can of course fill select her bug or whatever you want to use here so of course this will of course you know give you things that are probably uh, specific to that particular issue type but good thing about this particular uh, uh, this particular option here is that when you are dealing with the uh, let us say a report, a bit complicated report, you may want uh, to to simply make sure that uh, some of those measures are also available for you to uh, to basically uh, filter quickly. I mean, th th there are a lot of use cases. So this is something that I thought I'll probably, you know, show you. You can, of course, do it for uh, any other field. For example, if I bring in, uh, let us say priority, same thing for priority, just expand it and uh, you may want to do it now for status and uh, now status of uh, status is of course on top and uh, you can see here that you can now <laughs> select individual statuses from the top so this is great right this is a, like a really nice way to uh, focus on what you want to see but still have that ability to maybe um, expand and show everything so this is something that i thought i'll probably show you uh, I was not aware of this feature uh, um, when I started using EZB. I'm not really sure when this feature was introduced. I think it has been there for some time. I'm, I'm not really sure, but uh, uh, 
this is something that because when I first started using EasyBI, I think it was in twenty. I don't really remember. I think it was twenty fifteen. I guess when I, or maybe twenty sixteen, when I started using it like properly, like for using it for my clients, and uh, I remember I was uh, trying to do something like this. You can also create a measure, uh, but that is probably going to complicate things. So this is a simple way to simply uh, use one of the dimensions as uh, a page filter. All right, that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about and show you today in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.